This is a video about the Bosch Espresso Cup, which uses a centrifugal force to take the water that goes in here, somehow up this spout and into this cone where the coffee is and dispense it as normal out here. Not quite sure of the age, I'm guessing it's fairly old, so it's got a, an old plug on. If we look on the bottom, we've got a Robert Bosch label. It might be German, it's got some other stickers that are modern, I'm not quite sure what they are. It's got a removable drip tray, and it appears to have a blow off valve, so it's got a three way valve maybe. It's got two dispensing outlets here and it's got this piece of magic here you clip up and then you can make two cups one each side of the espresso steam wand steam knob uh, heat spin you can hear it spinning you can see it spinning uh, water goes in here for the steam so this is a little bit of water goes in here make the steam and then there's the spinning uh, axis and then the bottom here is a one two and four for the amount of water and I'll just take the lid off this is where the coffee goes in and the lid just screws on so I'm gonna go with two cups 18 grams of coffee in here to make one espresso and we'll try the milk, see what happens, okay? So I put 188 grams of water in, that's just what the second mark is. And there's my 18 grams of coffee, all ready to go. Coffee and water in, now I put it on rocker switch position one. And I think it's just heating up, ready to go. There's the full machine. There's a, a lever down here, which I think is for the steam. We'll find out later. There's a cable tidy at the back. That's the lid. Nice little machine. Just start to hear it whirling or bub bubbling away. We'll just wait for the light to flip. You can hear it bubbling furiously, so must be getting that way. Oh, there goes the switch. Right, let's try this. So the centrifuge flicks it up into this tray, which then runs down around the outside and down these two holes and out the front. Okay, so pretty much all the water's gone. It's quite impressive. And here is the, the coffee. It has definitely been spun to the outside. It's fairly dry. Let's tap it out. That's actually dry. I don't even know if that saw any water at the very top. That's a bit wetter. I think just the sheer force of the water, the, sp of the spinning has dried out the puck. There we have it. Here's the coffee it produced. It's got a good crema, I suppose. I think it's a crema, it could just be a, a whipped mass. 
And I know this weighed 166 grams, so what have we got there? About 74 grams worth of coffee out, which is about right for how much water we put in. So should we give it a taste? Here it is in a glass cup. That's not the crema I'm used to from this coffee. It's a square mile red brick coffee. That's not the crema I get off the old uh, Gaggia Classic over here. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm, very average. Not sure I'll be drinking that. That, that's not a crema, that's a, as James Hoffman demonstrated on one of his videos, it's just, if you put coffee through a blender or a whisk or a mix, you'll get this frothy head. And I think that's what the centrifuge gives you here. It's not actual crema. That, you need pressure. Okay, let's try the steam. So I put water in here. That hot's obviously gone down into a reservoir. There's more water than just this top bit. Let's go with the steam. Wait for that to heat up, and I guess it's this thing here. Let's try that. Okay, so after initial just chucking out water, now we've got a bit of steam. But it made the milk hot. I'm not quite sure it steamed it. But it also boiled away all the water that was in here, so it must be the same heating element. Um, see what happens when I pour it in here. Yeah, it steamed it a bit. I'm not a steam milk person, but there you go. There's some kind of form of milk coffee-ish stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. Any questions, let us know. That is the Bosch Espresso Cup. Spinning coffee, flicking water up, round the outside, down and out. An interesting machine. So this lever actually drains, I think, the uh, tank for the steam water that goes in this hole. So if you want to drain the tank, you do this. The idea of this is you just fill it up under the tap And that white thing's actually a valve. And when you put it in the machine, it opens the valve and fills the tank ready for the steam. So I guess that's the amount of water you need to steam one, two coffees, who knows. And there's not a three-way valve. I think it's just if the water overheats and boils over, the excess comes down into the drip tray. It's not a three-way valve.